Life changing. That's what one local woman calls the promising early results of a new medical study. It would make regular insulin shots obsolete for type 1 diabetics. Our Shannon Lilly tells us how it works all new at 11. This is what my butter compartment looks like in my refrigerator full of insulin. Since she was five years old, Amber Jantz has lived day to day relying on this. This is the vial of insulin, so this is what my pancreas doesn't make. To keep her alive. That goes in. This part comes out. I was diagnosed at St. Mary's Hospital with that type 1 diabetes. That was 36 years ago. Since then, Jantz says it's been constant blood sugar monitoring, carb counts, and giving insulin. And she's not alone. It's like having a second job. You can't just go to bed and forget about it. Miles away, Midlothian resident Kate Morales says she started giving herself insulin shots at 13 before getting an insulin pump in 2007. So this is a cartridge that goes into the back of the insulin pump. I asked both women what it would be like to no longer need to take insulin. It would be very freeing. It would be the most amazing thing if I never had to pull out a bottle of insulin again <laughs> or give myself another needle. That soon may be a reality. Dr. David Thompson is the site principal investigator for the Viasite trial. It's a breakthrough study that uses stem cell based implants to treat patients with type 1 diabetes. What makes this such a landmark study is it's the first time in human history that a stem cell derived product has been implanted into the human body and function in a normal physiological manner. Dr. Thompson says essentially these stem cells, once matured into insulin producing beta cells, would function much like a normal pancreas, sensing when a person eats and secreting insulin in response to that food. Already the cells we've implanted have been associated with better sugar control, less fluctuations in sugar, less hypoglycemia, and the ultimate goal is to get enough of these cells in so that people will be able to completely stop insulin and have a normal diet with no restrictions. The findings have resulted in two published studies in cell stem cell and cell reports medicine. Dr. Thompson says this is just the beginning of a new era of cell replacement therapy and a path to a cure for type 1 diabetes. So all that insulin is going into this little tube. And for millions like Jantz, that could be life changing. That would be the most amazing thing ever <laughs> in my lifetime because I was honestly told when I was diagnosed that there'd probably be no cure in my lifetime. Yeah, so they're the jobs. And then what so I in the interest that. of transparency, we should tell you that Dr. David Thompson is the father of CBS 6 reporter Cameron Thompson. Dr. Thompson tells us the next step in this study is to enable these cells to function without the need of anti rejection drugs that are currently used for all types of transplants. He says they've been able to modify the cells in a way that that could potentially be done. That trial starts next year. He says if results keep going the way they are now, he's hopeful to get breakthrough technology approval by the FDA and offer this as an available treatment within the next five years.